It done got wet. I took out a whole lot. A storage pot now sits in the plot of land where James Singleton's mobile home once stood. From, from here, up that way. Singleton's home in Clarendon County was destroyed during the October 2015 flood. He worked with the South Carolina Disaster Recovery Office to get it repaired and even signed an agreement with contractors in August, allowing them to replace his home. They came and tore it down. The agreement gave a 30-day time frame from when his home would be rebuilt. Somebody called me and said, you should have your trailer by the end of the month. Now, this was going on ever since uh, September. It's been three months, and he has yet to receive a new home. So now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm homeless. The 79-year-old reached out to us at News 19 for help. We called the South Carolina Disaster Recovery Office for answers. We had hurricanes both in Florida and in Texas, and as a result of those two hurricanes, there's been a shortage in some of our suppliers. J.R. Sanderson, program manager for South Carolina Disaster Recovery, says since the October 2015 flood, they have repaired and built 772 homes throughout the state. However, he says mistakes can happen. Sometimes citizens drop through the cracks. You know, it just it happens. Um, and we make mistakes, they make mistakes, uh, we have communication errors. And when those communication errors happen, it's our mission then to dive on top of this and try to get that citizen back into their home as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can. After we notified them of Singleton's situation, the Disaster Recovery Office contacted him, letting Singleton know that another contractor would be working on his home. But it could take another 60 days before it's rebuilt. Until then, this plot of land and his belongings in a storage unit are all he has. I wouldn't have got involved if I knew that I had to go through all this. In Clarendon County, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.